and welcome back to Mag Sam's Let's Play Shadow Hearts from the New World. I'm Arm2K Midi, and with me is Deathtron Hammer. Yo! So we've just been chilling out in the desert of New Mexico, in front of this base that shouldn't be here for another ten years. You know, the cool. usual. It occurred to me that boss we fought a while back probably charged up Shania's soul fusion here. Uh, let's charge the wolf statue. Ah, no. oh, just short. Just short, like one. No, five short. Oh, I realize what those symbols are. Uh, go to Tatanka and go to the charge screen. Do you see on the right in the bar? Yeah. That's the same symbol as the, the tattoo on her crotch. Oh. Yeah, now let's go to Thunderbird. Yeah, and that's what's on her b back, back right there. Okay, that's cool. I never noticed that before. Or maybe I have, but it's been like 15 years since I played this game, so. So there's the one in the crotch. Yep. And there's the one on her back. So if we get more soul fusions, will they add tattoos to her? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, she didn't have the crotch one until she got the Tottenka. So you can't actually stray from the path here. <sighs> The sand's too hot! Talk to him, I think. Up ahead, there's a big research base. But normal townsfolk can't go in. So, we don't know what they're up to. Is it this guy? Hey, so, listen to this. After so many years, this town's bus will start. Yeah. So one of these guys is gonna say something new. Is it this guy? Yeah. That research base? They're investigating some kind of UFO. It all seems kind of fishy to me. It's all those soldiers on watch. The only time anyone goes near is when that truck goes out there once a week. That truck? Is it a truck that goes in and out of the base? Yep. I don't know what it's carrying out of there. It should be coming today. You hear that? Hmm. That sounds perfect, doesn't it? That's our best ticket in. A base that size couldn't be supplied by a single truck once a week. That's not possible. This base isn't supposed to be here for another decade! So, anything's possible. Their game, their rules. Ah, the truck the old man was talking about. If we sneak in, getting out might not be so easy. Let's prepare a little bit more, or hey, let's wait a week and then not come in here for another week. Yeah. Right. We'll just chill out and play card games in the destroyed like, of inn. Of course we're going to get in the truck. Now, I like that truck. That is authentic. That's a very... That's the kind of truck they'd be driving around this time period. All right, that's good enough. Hurry off all the training camp. My name is High Ranking Yarbo. Sir, yes, sir. Looks like they're gone. We got in all right, but what do we do now? Hmm. The facility is much bigger than old Frank expected. Searching for Professor Gilbert's whereabouts will take some time. What are you talking about? At times like this, all you gotta do is grab the guy in charge and make him talk. A little violent, but it sounds like the fastest way. Anyway, let's get moving and find the head of the base. Dun, dun, dun. Cool, we don't have to talk for a while because now it's a dungeon. Raise up, Stellar! Ha 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 ha! Beat you to it! A Stellar acquired! Raise up's a pretty good Stellar. 
I will raise you up and I will let you down. Do I have any level two slots? That might be a problem. Oh, uh, oh. I know Johnny has one. Does Frank? Or, uh... I already have one on Natan. So I'll give the other one to Johnny. Cool. Johnny, come lately. I'll raise you up. I think there was one more thing in here. Let's double check. You never be too careful. The stellars are the important things, because if you miss stellars, you're gonna be like towards the end of the game and <laughs> you're like, I need to go find all you're these You're gonna be like me with my first playthrough of Covenant and never using those demon crests. <laughs> oh, it was like, I got to, this, to the end of this game, I didn't have a bunch of them and I needed them for a special reason. And I had to get the list out and I gotta hunt every single one of them down. It was a big pain. I don't really need to save right now. Seriously, I don't... Oh. Hmm? Who are you guys? Oh, you must be the new kids. Huh? Yeah, right. We're the new kids. I just knew it. I could tell by those slack, ignorant expressions on your faces. Here we go again. Morrison's security rant. Okay, well now, ignorant rookies. I myself am going to explain our security system here to you. This base has been broken up into three large, tightly managed security zones. Furthermore, if you don't have one of these exclusive key cards, you can't get into the respective zone. And it gets better. All security is coordinated by the mother computer. Not even an ant could get in. They didn't really have computers back then. It's Wow, that sounds pretty secure. Why, doesn't it? That's because the entire system was planned by me, Morrison! <laughs> hmm, well, now I know how great Mr. Morrison is. Yes, and that's all you need to know. You seem like you've got some potential. Oh yeah, one more thing. Take this. Without it, you could have some problems. Key card number one acquired. If there's anything you don't understand, Jim, just come ask me, Morrison. Will do. There are seed acquired. That security system Morrison built sure is incredible. Mm. But I think this arrogance is his biggest flaw. More importantly, how'd you do it? How'd you get him to like you? I kissed his ass. Just between you and me, man. Recently, recently they brought some aliens into the base. <laughs> they didn't look like aliens, though. Okay, nice to know. Thank you for not talking to Morrison again. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody's in there. Oh, Who are you? Uh, well, you see, we had some business at the base and snuck in. How about you? How'd you get locked up in here? You snuck in? So you're not one of the base people? Oh, please! You got it! be happy to help if I could. But I don't think I can break you out of something like this. Hey, 
What's that weird looking thing over there? Hmm? Ah! Uh, uh, don't scare me like that, okay? Oh, please forgive me. So, Roger, I think these nice people are going to help uh, us. Uh, <laughs> It's okay and all, but like I said, there's something we've got to check out, see? Okay, if that's the case, then let me help you. After all, it's the least I can do. Right, Roger? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, should I play her? I think you should play her. Oh, how rude of me! I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Hildegard. Please call me Hilda. I'm Johnny. Nice to meet you. And how about uh, that weird creature over here? Such disrespect! Why is it that everyone keeps saying that weird creature, weird creature? Well, listen carefully. My name is... Odd creature. No, we're gonna make him Roger Bacon. Cause that's who he How is. How about Roger Bacon bits? Should I? <laughs> I don't think there's enough room for that. No space. Uh, space is just like a. Yeah. Oh, there is room. <laughs> Should I do this? <laughs> Roger Bacon bits. Should I? Yeah. Okay, we're ready. He's Roger Bacon bits. Is this name okay? Yes. Roger Bacon and nothing else. I live in peace and love in an eternal star child. Hmm. Eh? Why are you so indifferent? You... You barely even reacted. Because I really don't care that much. Well, let's get a move on. If we found the... If we're found in here, things could get difficult. Uh, okay, so Hilda has to be in the party. I think Mao does too. Maybe he doesn't have to be this one. Well, I think Mao is now be changed out. I'll go with Team A. Yeah, the reason why you got Hilda is I'm already two, voicing two women on the party. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I did one of my practice run. I did notice you can change the names of the teams. So later on, when we're not forced to put people in the teams, I'm going to start naming the teams, but... Alright. Chief Strange, it seems the aliens have escaped. Huh? I thought if they became desperate, they would use some unknown technology to escape. Just as I would expect from aliens. Well... How'd they do it? That's well, huh? It seems they were helped by some other intruders. What? Well, then activate the defense system! You can go ahead and kill the intruders. When they do, those aliens get serious. What? Just kill them, yeah. Just kill them! Don't even ask what they want or who they are or why they're here. <coughs> Just kill Just them! Just kill them, yeah, that's, that's totally cool. Red Nervous Dollar Acquired. Man, I was trying to imitate Kodelka, Roger Bacon, there. Because, like, what the hell happened to his voice, man? Like, <laughs> like wh why? Why is it like, I'm Roger Bacon! Yeah. I'm sorry, Hilda! What do I do? I I'm a man, obviously, in my 20s. Trying to sound kind of old, but not really. I didn't even listen to the previous incarnations of Roger Bacon. Like, Amos Nandy of two 
he did a great job with Roger Bacon. The few times we heard Roger Bacon in one, it was pretty much close to what we hear in three. Oh, hell that! It was like that. But I, for some reason, I like the over-the-top charisma that and delivery that the actor who played Bacon in one did. Roger Bacon! And it's the closest I can imitate. In fact, I... My best imitation was his introduction in Shadow Hearts 1. I've never been able to quite recapture the magic of that delivery. Henry expanded quite I discovered the expansion of space. I was right to persist in my doubt of the limited nature of the universe. But now there's a new question. Today I was suddenly told that I was on duty. But what does gray mean? As with the expansion of the universe comes the heat death of the universe. What the? Who are you guys? Could you be the group of intruders and aliens that I just got word about? Huh? No, you got it all wrong. We're just the new assistants. Sounds fishy to me. We're not aliens! Please believe us! you being so defensive about it makes me believe you even less. No, wait. Look at that kid's eyes. What's that? The kid's eyes? Like, that can make any diff- Ha! Oh, so pure! So round! What beautiful eyes! Eyes that could never lie! So you believe me, right? Thank you very much! We're, We're so sorry for doubting you, miss. We heard the intruders have taken aliens away, so... The intruders could be dangerous, so please take this and evacuate to a safer zone. Key card number two acquired. Thank you. I feel kind of bad. Her eyes are, like, doubled. There's, is that, they're, they're, like, full. There's no whites in her eyes like that. It looks like a stack of two eyes. From this point on is a special zone. If the special security is not released, the elevator cannot be activated. I don't know why that turned into a song. From this point on is section number three. Here comes our first random battle. Yay! We're supposed to take two pictures of each. Bring it on. Action. Over here, smile and say cheese. So this drunken fist is how we get the cat so, coins. So can I point out something? Sure. So, so they think Hilda and Roger look weird enough that they're the aliens. Uh huh. The one, the blue fuck is that? It's the security system. <laughs> the security system is made up of actual aliens. Uh -huh. So this is Hilda. In this mode, she's really strong. So, so I, I, I'm asking, just, just uh, also, do you believe aliens exist in the Shadow Hearts universe? Uh, don't we see aliens at the end of Shadow Hearts two? At the oh, end, you go up into space. Oh right. yeah, there's the space god. You're right. Yes, <laughs> yes, from the nebula, whatever nebula. Yeah, true. Quote unquote God. That's uh, who you became God Slayer. Yes, you are correct. Well done. Okay. So you know least, who there's at least an alien. Oh no 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 no. We also have <laughs> We do encounter a couple of aliens in two. Need need a hint? Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm from the planet Gorflosky or Gorflosky. whatever. Yeah. What planet was he from? I, like, some stupid name. Then there's a dog who talks in emotes. <laughs> so aliens do exist. Just one is like a Lovecraftian entity. Okay. Look over here. And the other is like a 
evil version of Laika. An evil version of Laika and a nerd. Like some <laughs> space nerd. Slash Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Oh, look over here. Smile and say cheese. Alright. We got both of these. This new vacuum Johnny has. I'll show you how that works. You know, really, I'm proud of how we did it. We did the first part of Shadow Hearts, then we did Kodelka, and then went into two! The second yeah. half of Covenant, or not Covenant, the second half of the first game. Like, it gave a lot of context for what was going to happen in the second part. Oh, Johnny's going to go insane pretty soon. Oh, whoa, little Johnny. So the vacuum. Go to piss his pants. Switch on. You suck up the stock gauge of the enemy. So your turn comes faster and their turn comes. gets pushed back. Plus, you have. Sometimes if they have abilities, you can suck those up too and take those on for a short period of time. Yeah, but by Johnny's turn coming faster, does that mean he goes insane sooner? It's true, I just made him go insane sooner. <laughs> well, you better kill this thing fast, because Johnny's gonna lose his mind mighty fast. He always goes for the expensive items and uses them first. Like right now. Up. Uh, yeah, just a moment. Like right now. I'm really looking forward to him not doing this all the time. Oh, I'm okay with him doing this, though. Smile and say cheese. It never hurts to have a few extra so, snap cards. Okay, well, what does a guy going to say and taking pictures sounds like? I don't know. At least he's kind of like walking with pee on you or something. <laughs> she's not quite up to snap yet. Johnny is going berserk. He lost consciousness. Does that mean he's not going to have any more turns? Well, that is what he did, so now you're down two party members, essentially. And I don't have, um, an Aton with me, so I have to use a Soul Benedict, or a, um, Talisman of Luck. I've never heard the Berserk version of this game. Is it different? Yeah. Whatever you want to say in the music changes. I'm gonna let the cat defeat the monster. This is weird. It's like they just cut one of the tracks out, so it's, yeah. like, it's just the drums playing. Ah! So you get more coins if you hit a, if you hit the uh, strike zone. Of course, it hits the one that's not. Screw it. You die now. Did you let your guard down because I'm a? No, we didn't let our guard down because you're a girl. The robot does not care what you are. The robot just wants you dead. Alright, let's find out what those creatures were. I'm quite curious, to be honest. Yeah, I wanted to. Property. Library. Ignorac. Conv. Chon Chon Womp, Bianchi, Ronway, Beetlejuice. Defense system named after Orion 1. Humanoid robot built to withstand heavy firearms. Compound armor lends power, but fuel consumption is poor. It's named after Orion 1. Oh, Beetlejuice, the constellation? Yeah. Okay. Acteon, defense system that was an accidental byproduct of a genetic engineering experiment to revive a strand of unknown DNA. Huge size belies an incredible agility. Unknown- It's an alien, you fucknut! Did they even know about DNA in the 1920s? 
I thought that was discovered in the 50s. Yeah, I'm... They're not really doing any research for this, are they? Let's bring Natan to the party. Well, any any similarities is coincidental. Blur to blur to blur to blur to blur to blur. Yeah. Yeah, who are you going to get rid of, Johnny? Yeah, I'll do... But jo I need Johnny, Johnny for the take pic pictures. Yeah, I'll use... We'll take Shania out for a little bit. Ooh. She's one of your heavy hitters, though. I... No, but you need mouth for the coins. So eventually what you end up doing is you just go and grind coins, because those cat quests are really annoying. Well, do you want to grind coins here or at an easier dungeon? I think I used to... It depends. So there's different levels of cat coins, depending on how far you are in the game and how far you're in the quest. Mm. So the ones we'll get here are different from the ones we'll get in the next dungeons. Here we go. Oh, new enemies. Loady, turdy thing. Ciphers. <laughs> Handy tool. Serious. XM. Okay, look over here. Smile and say cheese. Ninja arts. Ninja. Yeah. Bus stop saber is prime for action. Cactus saber has been shoved into a vending machine. It's like a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine what it would be for the bu if you turn the bus stop sign in. <laughs> uh, metal chips and shavings. Something strong enough to chip up a piece of metal. Yeah. Okay, you only need two of each of these, but um, if you're ever in doubt, always take more pictures than you need. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're ever in doubt, eat some trout. And I'll let you know in this if the, the monsters you're facing can only be gotten here. So you can get these ones later. These aren't like... One mackerel coin! It's wow. not the end of the world, but it's more work and backtracking if you don't get them now. I wasn't that far off with my trout game. Did you got a mackerel coin? Oh. Oh, a red snapper. Very tasty. If you keep the red snapper, or trade it for what's in the box. I'll take the box. <laughs> I won't repeat the entire joke. <laughs> I realized I need to do the jungle cat on this one. No point in not doing it. I might as well get as many coins as I can. Rage. It was a game made by you. I remember there's some RPGs where it, like, assigns experience points by, um... It assigns experience points by who does the most damage in the, the fight. Oh. Uh, so, like, if your character doesn't do anything in the fight, they don't get experience points. That's lame. I'm trying to remember which game that was. Yeah, macro coin. But if I did a strike, I'd get two coins usually. So it's your fault you can't hold your liquor. I didn't understand a single word Mao said there. So it's your fault that you can't hold your liquor. Mao's an alcoholic. So those are the three enemies of the base. We'll skip all the random battles from here on out. Security zone three. Oh, I need to go to that. Let's pull on the security zone three. I don't know why Mother sings, but she does. Who's mother? The name of the computer. When you go to the door, is that all caps writing? Oh. That's mother, see? Oh, I mother. see. Why is it called mother? Security level one confirmed. Opening door. They didn't have computers back then. 
I think this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So what I got in the later game is this thing you can equip that takes away all the markings on your ring. But if you memorize where all the hit zones are, you do like double damage. Huh. So I stuck that on Shania and I was doing du 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 all five hits. I was doing it every time, blind, completely blind, and she was just kicking ass. She was just a powerhouse. And that's how I took care of the rest of this game. Like, there's one for magic and there's one for physical attack. So you have Shania the magic one and Johnny the magic. The magic one. But I don't want Johnny to be magic in this time. Now that I saw Waker and I know that he's going to be able to... He'll be a lot stronger than physical attacker later in the game. Gotta make sure I cut this battle footage. I'm giving away spoilers! I know! <laughs> I think the first cat quest doesn't require the big points. No, because I want to introduce you to it. Um, I don't know if it's. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much established at this point. You can still change the storms. That, that's why I interrupted my statement there, because I was going to say spoilers, but I was like, no, not really, because you all can't change this form. Yeah, and I didn't tell them what the other form looked like. We're going to see that in I mean, It's pretty obvious she's a valentine. Yeah. Well, she already changed form. She was a bat, now she she's this. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I won't... We don't know about the slim form yet. Like, exactly. She appears right before the boss fight, so you're not even prepared. She goes from being a physical attacker to a magic user. It's like, okay. I mean, he, people are not very specialized at this point in the game, so it doesn't really matter. But later in the game, if she changes like that, you're like, okay, this character's completely useless now. Yeah. Because you've specialized her to be magic or physical. That was long. Security lab for two confirmed. Opening door. I can't find it. Where is it? Ah, darn it. That old man sent me on a ridiculous errand. Who are you? Oh no, I've been found. Freeze. Stop right there. Huh? Is that you, Frank San? I thought so. Brittany! Well, fancy that. What are you doing here? And Master Mao, too! The Jonan ordered me out here. Oops! I'm not going to find it anyway. What if I had Frank do it instead? Jonin? Orders? <laughs> As a matter of fact, Brittany is a ninja, just like old Frank. The Jonin is the head of our clan. That's right. Actually, I've been entrusted with giving Frank son orders from the Jonin himself. Secret message acquired. What? What is this? It's some kind of code. I guess some scientists who escaped from Europe hid hazardous material in this building. Hmm. The secret location is written in the memo? Yes, that's right. Well, allow me to take my leave, Frank San. Good luck with everything!
Hey Frank, aren't you kind of being used? No problem, and Aaron like this is a piece of cake for old Frank. That's and look, really... aliens in jars. See how fast I'm acquired. By the way, is that is cake out number three acquired? Who leaves it in the corner? Um, but here's the thing: is that dangerous secret thing for the scientists in Europe brought here? Is that that moldy bag of rice that was that you got from a scientist and gave to Margaret and Covenant? The secret message. Left the room, crossed the passage, went into the storage room. It was in the corner under the boxes of red, blue, and the yellow drum. X marks the spot. The library here. Brittany the ninja. There we go, Brittany the female ninja. So my theory is that she's based off of Britney Spears. That's That was my vibe, too, when I played the games. Like, did they just make an... Is there no entry for her? There's nothing written about her. Maybe it gets filled in later. Oh, there we oh. go. A blonde ninja with the same ambitions as Frank. A devil in disguise. Her great-grandfather was Japanese. And her surname is Kobayashi. So some of our party members leveled up. And then curing again. Ah, the heel bitch does his job well. Heel bitch. That reminds me of, uh, back in my days on Final Fantasy XI. I played Red Mage, and the only thing Red Mage was ever asked to do was cast Refresh, which brought back people's MP. And if you did anything other than cast Refresh, people would criticize the hell out of you. <laughs> no, cast Refresh! I want to do this and this. No, just cast refresh. So who's level 13? This isn't fun for me. We don't care. I'll take Mao out for a while. Even though he's collecting cat coins. Mao out. Mao out! Oh, I like how they all cross their arms at the same time. It seems that there is no air in space. So, if someone were to enter space, they would suffocate immediately. Aha! Maybe that's where men come from. That makes sense. That didn't make sense, did it? This password duty messes with me. Gray man, little gray man. Yeah. Earlier, when I went to the plant, there was someone who looked like an intruder. So I panicked and ran to this lab. It was a blonde girl in pink clothes. Anyway, the time I was scared and got all flustered. In the midst of it all, I ended up losing my key card somehow. Ah! I have to write an apology letter for this. But actually, the intruder was kind of cute. Then why'd you get scared and run away? A vehicle that flies around in space. I'll call it a spaceship. What do you think? <laughs> Good name, right? I'm pretty sure they had the name Spaceship by this point. Yeah, like Jules Verne from like here to the moon or something, or here to Mars, whatever. I'm curious now. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Arm 2 from the future, since you have access to all the internet, just tell us right now where the term Spaceship came from and if, when it came out. Yeah. That's your homework, in addition to making this video. Thank you. Yeah, fuck you too. Oh, really? That's where it came from? Oh, okay, okay, cool. Alright, now go back to your little hidey hole. Continue working. Anyway. He's always complaining about his workload. Always, always, always. But now he's got into the habit of showing off how much he works out now. He's working out a lot. Yeah. I wish I could catch up to him. He's always just a little bit ahead of me. One day. One day you'll get there. Or I could sabotage his workouts. Ooh, yeah you can. Oh, 
Alrighty. Oh, we're on this side for you variety. You know, the sterility... The, the, the sterile look of this dungeon works against it. It's pretty boring. Yeah. Security level 3 confirmed. Opening door. Hey. Hey. I don't really know what it's all about, but today it seems I'm on password duty. But just what does little mean? Little gray men, gray aliens. Tent acquired! Okay. Slow one acquired! So here's X marks the spot, see? The chemicals! Hmm. <laughs> There's no fooling old Frank's eyes. There is something hidden here. You got an atomic bomb. What the fuck? Whoa, that looks really dangerous. It has a beautiful streamlined shape. It makes Frank want to throw it out the window. That's not how atomic bombs work. Stop, fool! I said hazardous material, didn't I? Hurry up and give it here. Can't believe this guy. Uh, Brittany! Ah, uh, <clears throat> Frank Son, you completed the orders brilliantly! I will personally deliver the bomb to the Jonan. The atomic bomb was taken from you! Well then, everyone, sayonara! It's like she's taking all the credit. Whoa, another one? Lord Frank, this is from the Jonan. What was that all about? It's a scroll. What's this? Ninja Art Seismic Wave Acquired! The Jonan, he is watching old Frank's work. How thrilling! Uh, I think he probably is always. probably always has to keep an eye on you. This is just so stiff. Sterile. White hallway. White hallway. White hallway. And they all look the same, too. Probably well, wasn't very much to design this, either. No, it's just copy-paste. Anyway. That's about all the time we have for this episode. Join us on the next episode, where we... go to the heart of this base and find out what's here. Have a wonderful night. Stay beautiful, people.